stand before you with a heavy heart and a profound gratitude to our community that is gathered here today to celebrate Christopher Fitzgerald's life. Your collective presence <clears throat> here today, especially those who join us from Temple University and its police department, is the clearest sign of the impact that he had, of how many lives he touched so deeply. To the women and men of law enforcement who gather in this grand basilica and line the streets of our city, and who are part of this tight brotherhood and sisterhood, we stand with you today and every day, and we honor your service. Your fellow Pennsylvanians join you in mourning. To Joel, Pauline, Marissa, and your children. My wife, Lori, our First Lady, and I are privileged to be in your presence and humbled that you asked me to honor the memory of your son, your husband, and your father. And we are all here to recognize your service for us, for our city, and for our safety. Officer Christopher Fitzgerald's senseless death has touched us all. The tears and the prayers stretch from this great city all across our vast commonwealth. I'm keenly aware that no words spoken, no tribute offered can convey the depth of loss that must occupy your hearts today. Our words can't take away from the pain that you must endure, the suffering of this hour and the darkness of an unknown future without your son, your husband, your father, your loved one, your fellow police officer. Officer Fitzgerald was a true public servant from a proud and respected law enforcement family. Chris's father, Chief Joel Fitzgerald, served the city of Philadelphia as a police officer and now as a police chief across the country. His mother, Pauline Fitzgerald, served our Commonwealth, too, in the Office of Attorney General, where we worked together to make our communities safer. Chris's dad spoke of his servant heart, which drove him to police work. But it's also clear that he cared deeply about this community because of the fine example set by mom and dad. Ever serving, ever helpful, ever encouraging to all who met him. Chris was the very best of us. He cared about his fellow officers, his neighbors, his fellow residents of this great city. And of course, he loved his family. A strong and tough cop with a tender heart. As a parent, I understand the wonderful chaos of coming home to a full house after work to see your family, when you're beat tired and emotionally spent and your children jump in your arms and fill your heart back up again. Chris's children deserve to have their daddy with them. It's not fair. It's not how it was supposed to be. Marissa, I know to you Chris was your soulmate, a husband, a father to your beautiful children and a life companion. I offer you the deepest, most heartfelt condolences on behalf of 13 million Pennsylvanians who mourn with you. I pray that you will be comforted by this outpouring of love, of admiration, and of deep appreciation for your husband's service. I want you to know I am in awe of your courage. When you shared your grief the other day as you spoke at Temple's memorial service at the Bell Tower. You wore both Chris's jacket that you wear today, and you also brought with you his strength. A strength 
that you used when you sought to challenge us, to challenge our city to do better, to challenge all of us to do better. We heard you. Christopher Fitzgerald was a proud police officer, the kind of officer who instinctively understood that delicate balance between making the arrest and mentoring our youth. He keenly understood that to make our streets safer meant believing in those who lived in these neighborhoods and taking the time to understand them, to be truly accessible. He was an example of how it is supposed to be done. He put everything into making our city safer, doing it the right way. That is why this pain is so much more pronounced, so much worse. He wanted to make our city safe for everyone. He wanted to ensure that every kid had a chance. He understood that for our city to thrive, our freedoms needed to be protected. The freedom to live out your God-given potential free from violence in a place of opportunity. So he worked to make sure Temple students and neighbors could walk down the street safely. He ensured that people could access the ballot box in our elections and that the clerks tallying the votes could do so without the fear of intimidation. He defended our democracy along with our streets. He understood the needs of our city. That's why he played with the kids on the block. And why he started a run club to encourage young people to turn away from violence. He had so much more to do, Chris did. His life was taken far too early. He had so much more to give, to do, to share with us. But Chris was on this earth long enough to show us the way. He was. I ordered the flags of this commonwealth to be flown at half-staff, both to recognize the tragic death of Officer Fitzgerald, but also the symbol of his life of purpose. Now it is up to us to carry on his legacy and learn from the example that Chris set for all of us. We owe it to Officer Fitzgerald. We owe it to his family and we owe it to our city. Every decision maker in this city and beyond should feel personally challenged to do more because of how Chris lived his life. That means that we must invest in well-trained, well-equipped law enforcement officers. No officer should be forced to patrol alone or not have the tools they need to keep themselves or their communities safe. It means passing laws to strengthen systems to get guns out of the hands of criminals and those who should not legally possess them to follow Chris's lead and do the hard work necessary to bring the police and the community closer together, to help see the humanity in one another the way Chris did, to treat law enforcement as the noble profession that it is, and thank our police officers for their service every single day, not just in dark moments like this. Don't shed a tear here at Chris's funeral and then refuse to do the hard work necessary to support our police and our community every other day. This is our challenge. This is our work. And this is our responsibility. Officer Fitzgerald had his life stolen while discharging his duties as a police officer. Every single day in cities large and small, on rural roads and on college campuses and in government facilities, law enforcement officers like Chris and his dad and mom run toward danger to shield the rest of us. Their service comes with enormous risks and the possibility of not returning home to their loved ones at the end of a shift, and yet they still serve. 
Chris certainly knew these risks. From mom and dad and from his fellow officers, yet he still put on the uniform with purpose and with reason. We owe a debt of gratitude to every police officer, every law enforcement professional, and their families who are here with us today and with us in spirit, those who put life and limb on the line for us day after day and shift after shift. Christopher Fitzgerald's life and legacy will now carried out, be carried out by police officers who were inspired by his example and by a community that is grateful that Chris walked the beat. Let Officer Fitzgerald's memory be a calling, a calling to all of us to take back our city from the ravages of gun violence, to protect and look out for one another, to say enough to the unacceptable level of crime and insist that people be held to account for robbing us of our liberty and our freedom. Let it be a calling to support our women and men in blue so they can have enough officers, enough equipment, enough training, enough community support to do their job safely and with collective pride. We owe them that much. And more importantly, we owe it to Chris. He died protecting this city, this university. He died protecting all of us and our way of life. And so in this difficult time, may God be our refuge, our strength. May God bless all of those who put on the uniform every day to serve our community. May God bless the Fitzgerald family. May God bless our Temple family. And may you find comfort in one another. And may Officer Christopher Fitzgerald's memory always be a blessing.